Okay, if you need to do this particular topic, you need to make sure you print out the page and then you write down everything I've got from this part and then uh, do the problems that are underneath it. So this is zero product property. So the first case right here, we already have it factored. So it's 7x times 2x minus 7 times x plus 7 equals 0. I'm going to set each factor equal to 0. So 7x, each factor has an x. If there's no x in there, I won't put that to equal to 0. So I get 7x equals 0, 2x minus 7 equals 0, x plus 7 equals 0. Then solving for x, I get x equals 0, x equals 7 halves, x equals negative 7. Now for the other part of it, you're going to have to factor first. So what you should do is, this is where the rectangles really help out. 4x squared, I put up here. Negative 6, I put down here. 4x squared times negative 6 is negative 24x squared. I need two numbers. One will be positive, one will be negative. That multiply to give me negative 24, but add to give me negative 5. So if I use negative 8x and 3x, this will give me the terms that will go inside of my rectangle. I can factor out a 4x. Then I have 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times negative 2 will give me negative 8x. x times 3 gives me 3x. And then my check is negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So that means we factor to 4x plus 3 times x minus 2. Again, set each one equal to 0. Then I solve it. So I get x equals negative 3 fourths, x equals 2. Look at part C. Now 5 can't equal 0, so I'm not going to set that equal to 0. So I got 2x plus 1 equals 0, and x minus 9 equals 0. So solving this, I will get x equals negative 1 half, and x equals 9. On this other one, again, multiplying, I put 3x squared into the upper corner here, negative 8 down here gives me negative 24x squared. So two numbers that multiply to give me negative 24, but add to give me negative 2. So that would be negative 6x and 4x. Again, one's positive, one's negative, because last sign's negative. Factor out, I could factor out a 3x. 3x times x, 3x times negative 2. There's my x minus 2, x times positive 4. That's how I got 3x plus 4. Then I could solve it. So 3x plus 4 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. Solving it, x equals negative 4 thirds, and x equals 2. Okay, so you need to do make sure you have those copied down, and make sure that you do the ones that are below it.